<laughs> a little background on this tank. This is a Dutch Aquarium Systems tank. And the owner tells me that it's, it's quite old, at least 10 years old. I believe he said it was like 15 years old. And they're actually unique because they, in a way, were the pioneer of all-in-one filtration types tanks. The filtration on this tank is actually on the right, which looks like an overflow box, but it's not. That's the filtration. The owner will show us this in a minute. Um, but it's like a, a half hex tank, which you just don't see these things around anymore uh, all that much. But hey, it's still here. This one's doing great. I'm just getting a kick out of this. We've got lots of anemones and lots of GSP and a yellow tang. So <laughs> let's keep, let's get the, have, oh, look at that. Look, it's even got like AI hydras over it. That's cool. It's like old meets new and it's clearly working really well. Let's take a closer look here. Oh, okay. So we're going to get a look at the surroundings first. Nice little nook um, for this tank. Looks like the sunroom a little bit, sitting area. What a great place to sit and enjoy the tank. Let's uh, get a closer look. So this is like an enemy haven here. We've got all kinds of anemones. Now, for those of you just watching, heads up. Those are rose bubble tips. They may not look like bubble tips because their tips aren't bubbled, but that is a rose bubble tip. I get lots of questions. People have said, hey, my long tentacle is up on a rock. It's not a long tentacle. It's a bubble tip that's just not bubbling. All right, so he's got a lot of them. If you're looking for a rose bubble tip, you should talk to this guy because he's clearly got tons of them. He actually said in the video that he, uh, once they get too many, when they get on the back wall, then he sells them to the local fish store. Oh, we're going to get a look underneath. We have a chiller underneath the stand. Okay, so I understand it's not exactly the best looking thing in the world, but that chiller should go outside of the stand to get that heat out and away from the tank. Let it get out of the tank, out from underneath the tank. It's just trapped in there, so it's blowing out hot air, then sucking in hot air that can shorten the life of cooler and can time it can blow it up. And I just <laughs> have to notice the Neptune Systems Apex display sitting in the bowl. I mean, it's not going to get wet there, and you always know where it is. It's where's the display? Oh, it's in the bowl. Okay, so the other thing, all right, so, yeah, there are power cords hanging from the bottom of the tank, and look, look on the bright side. There's drip loops all over the place. There's no way power is going to come underneath the tank, or power, no way water is going to come underneath the tank and then go back up and shock these power supplies. So, why look, I agree, it's not like that's the best looking thing in the world compared to some of the setups we've seen on the Mr. Saltwater Tank React show. He's got like hooks with zip ties. I'm sure the, if AI is watching this video, they're like, oh, dude, that, that hurts us to look at these power supplies. But look, it works and there's, there's drip loops everywhere. So I got to hand it to the guys. Even labeled one of them, that's the skimmer. I don't know why there's two plugs for the skimmer, but there are. There's two plugs for the skimmer. We got an uh, Apex Junior sitting out there, old Hydra. Um, yeah, Hydor, Corellia Wave. I did a review on that like eight years ago. That's cool. All right, back to the tank. All right, so we got GSP. Oh, okay, so we're going to go over the top. So check it out. Here's what I was talking about. The filtration on the right. It's like an all-in-one. The water flows into the filtration box. We've got a skimmer, and then um, he's going to show us some a basket there in the center. That's what the wing nut is on, which I think is cool. Um, for, you know, mechanical filtration. Here we go. Check it out. So it slides out. You can put like poly pads in there. And then we have uh, basically a chamber where the water returns back to the tank. So it's like an in-box, in-tank overflow box with no sump. Kind of cool. It works, right? You don't have to deal with a sump. You got all the space underneath to hang your power cords and bricks. So we got some rose bubble tips here, some maybe a leather or net. We got leather over there on the left. Maybe that's a nepty in the center. GSP all over the place, purple um, mushrooms. If uh, I was an OCD person that didn't understand context, I would be freaking out right now that there's GSP everywhere and purple mushrooms. Like everything I usually don't like in tanks and caution people about, look, it works in this tank because this is a softy, low maintenance, anemone tank. He's not trying to grow LPS, 
There's like one LPS there in the front. God bless it, it's not gonna last long. There's some torch over there on the right, which the stupid clownfish are hanging out in this torch coral, not up in like the dozen rose bubble tip anemones in the rest of the tank. The owner says the clowns never get in there and they've never been in there in the year and a half. Um, stupid clownfish, they're related to damsels, what can you say? All right, so look, this works, right? It's a softy tank, he's not trying to grow SPS, so if the GSP takes over, the anemone will sting the GSP. The GSP is not gonna win against those rose bubble tips or the mushrooms. So look, in a way, like in this context, it works. And like it almost has like a deep sand bed in a way. It's not quite deep, but like it kind of looks like what a deep sand bed looks like. You got some Corellias here on the back. I mean, this is a little bit of a trip down memory lane. Not only with Dutch Aquarium System, because I used to buy a tank from them, but also the Corellias. We got the lone PJ Cardinal. What happened to your buddy? Did you ever have a buddy? Was it always just you? So we got leather all over the place. Okay, so look, some people are going to look at this, especially the SPS guys and gals, are going to go, oh, well, he has cyano on his rocks. Therefore, he doesn't know what he's doing. Cyano can sometimes be part of a tank. I've been on reefs in the ocean and seen cyano. It's been around for billions of years. It'll probably be here after we're gone for a billion years. Does this, uh, is it a little bit unsightly? Sure, it's cyano. At the same time, like, it's confined to an area. He could suction that out. And then maybe once a month, like on my old 90-gallon tank, it comes back. Not a huge deal. It's not like he's trying to win an award here. He just loves his tank. And this owner admits he doesn't do hardly anything with it. I didn't even hear him mention water changes. And it works. Nutrient levels on this tank are probably pretty high, and nothing in there seems to care. Especially the GSP. GSP's like, hey, thank you. I love you. You're the best. Man, these bubble tips are... There's lots of them. I wish he lived closer. I would come and get some. I have clients who want some of those things. But look, we have some down at the bottom that don't look as good. They're probably because they're getting some shade. We got some in the back. I mean, these are... Is that a bubble coral in there? It looks like a bubble right there to the right of the anemones. If so, buddy, like, move that over. That's This bubble's got potential, but... It's gonna get stung by anemones. It's like, there's like a patch here where the cyano is where there's no anemones. I wonder why not. Is it because the bubble is keeping them away or the anemones just don't like it? I'm curious about that one. Maybe the owner can weigh in on that in the comments. More mushrooms. Look, there's the lone favia down there in the sand bed, but hey, it works. I mean, it's away from everything. You can move it around very easy to keep it away from the GSP. I mean, that's one way to get it done. And look, some people, again, would look at this tank and go, I would love to have that. There are plenty of people looking at this tank and they're like, amateur, it's amateur hour here on Mr. Saltwater Tank Reacts. Whatever, look, this is part of having a saltwater tank. It can be whatever you want with it. It can be an SPS tank, it can be a softy tank with just a couple fish, uh, mainly an anemone tank. All right, so let me say this. So if those clownfish are so stupid that they're not gonna get in the sea anemones and you got some space here. This looks like a four foot of tank, a uh, cross tank. Why not put in some more clowns? Those clowns down on the front, maybe they've chased the other clowns away, but if those clowns on the front aren't getting the enemies, then maybe the new clowns hang out in the sea enemies and the stupid old clowns hang out in that torch coral. Like they can live in their like tall and skinny place while the other clowns have the back 40. This is, um, I mean, the single clown pair is nice, but you got all these enemies. I would like to see the clowns in them. It's part of the joy of having an enemy. Why not put some more clowns in here and see what happens? He talked about the territorial issues with the tangs that are in here, but the clownfish are gonna hang on the scene enemies, the tangs will leave them alone. And you got that lone PJ as well. So, okay, so I would put in some more clowns. You can't put in any more tangs. I'd be curious if he could get away with even some wrasses. I mean, if he has a territorial issue, then the flasher wrasses are just gonna get the snot beat out of them. Um, Cause they like, you look at them wrong, the flash grasses are like, oh, I'm gonna go hide and lay down on the sand bed and make you think I'm dead. That's just how they are. So look, here we got the AI over the top. We got like a sliding, I don't think that's any of the bracing. Looks like a sliding plexiglass piece uh, that moves back and forth. If that's bracing, uh, that's not doing much. Two AIs are getting the job done under this tank. And look, it looks nice. Again, this is a nice setting for the tank. It's an old tank. 
that with a little kind of very different kind of approach to filtration, uh, but it works. Again, there'd be plenty of people that would look at this tank and love to have it in their house, especially as low maintenance as there is. He doesn't dose anything. I don't think he does water changes. The skimmer is there and he has a media pad. That's it. And it works. Lots of ways to skin the cat in the saltwater tank world, or as I say, different strokes for different folks. Mm -hmm.